What the heck is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in computer networking. And I guess I should probably mention a couple things right now. First, yes, I know that I really suck at first of all handwriting and as you guys are, you know, going to soon find out, I'm really terrible at drawing as well. So, uh, you know, you guys are probably going to have to suffer through that when you watch these videos. And another thing is that I do need to specify computer networking because whenever I was first learning networking, I was like, all right, I'm going to type in networking on Amazon, get a few books. And all of the books were like people networking, like going to meet people. And I'm like, what the heck? So, you know, your first bit of advice, whenever you're looking for networking books, make sure to type in computer networking, you know, just, you know, helpful advice already. So first of all, you're asking yourself, okay, what the heck is a computer network? Well, the most simple definition, you know, if you go to college, this probably isn't the definition they're going to give you, but it's pretty much a bunch of computers, all right, you know, a box with a C resembling computers. It's a bunch of computers connected to each other. All right, so that's basically what a computer network is. And I know that, you know, I drew these awesome computers right here, but whenever I say computers, I don't just mean PCs and by that I mean personal computer your desktop or you know your Mac whatever you're using at school I don't just mean personal computers I'm talking about cell phones um, you know this is obviously a cell phone kinda looks like a gun um, you can also have a printer so whenever I say computer I mean a bunch of different things and aside from you know just these computers being part of a computer network you also have other parts as well as you guys are going to find out these computers need a way to communicate with each other and in this little diagram I use I'll say this is copper cable but as you know there's also Wi-Fi and you know satellites and there are a bunch of different parts that make up an entire computer network so it isn't just the computers themselves and we're going to be going over everything so basically let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the copper wire or the Wi-Fi waves you need this part of a computer network because whenever you connect two computers to each other they need a way to pretty much transmit data or share data just go ahead and write that so that's basically the purpose of a computer network because if you just go ahead and connected a bunch of computers okay this is pretty cool but why on earth would you ever want to connect a bunch of computers well the answer is right here to sh share information and you do that like I said through copper wire fiber optics radio waves even infrared and microwaves are used nowadays whenever we're sharing data between computers so with that being said what do I mean by share data well that kinda sounds like you're in a school and you wanna you know send documents from professor to professor professor like share important you know scholar scholarly data well data doesn't only mean you know boring data that you learn in school it can mean a bunch of different things the first thing is of course like we said documents maybe you have you know a paper you wrote and you want to send it to another college you can go ahead and share documents but data can also mean stuff like pictures so let me go ahead and draw a little picture right here so basically, you can remember whenever I talk about data, a lot of people just think of, you know, documents and boring text, but you can remember, you know, pictures and video because if you sign up for a data plan, then of course, what's eating up all your, you know, usage? It's the video, it's the pictures. That's what really gets you and that's why, you know, Verizon is raking in the big bucks right now. So basically by data, this is what's transferred in the computer network. We have documents, we have pictures, uh, what else do we have? Videos. So we'll put a little YouTube player right here. And what kind of videos? Well, they're on YouTube or um, Netflix. By the way, I'm going to throw a bunch of fun facts at you guys in these tutorials. Did you know that Netflix uses or is responsible for almost 32 actually more than 32 percent of the entire bandwidth in the United States isn't that freaking amazing and we'll talk about why videos use so much data but anyways these are the different types of data that we can you know transfer 
computer to computer in a computer network uh, Netflix videos YouTube videos which are basically millions and millions of videos of cats or girls putting on makeup by the way girls why do you need so many tutorials on how to put on makeup you think if you put it on one way then you know it's the same way forever but um, if anyone has an answer to that then just go ahead and let me know know why do girls need so many videos on makeup I don't know it's a mystery and of course the biggest computer network it of all is the internet so that is basically your very first introductory video let's see what we covered first of all what is a computer network it's bas basically a bunch of oh that's embarrassing a bunch of computers connected to each other um, why would we want to connect a bunch of computers to each other well for one reason sharing data and what exactly do we mean by data well not only text documents or scholarly documents but also pictures video and data is meaning a bunch of different things nowadays so that's basically your very first introduction to a uh, you know computer networking in the next video we're going to be talking about it's pretty much a good way to start learning how to classify different types of computer networks so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video